This morning, Mike, thousands of requested mail-in ballots may have been lost. Gordon and Catherine, there is clear growing frustration over this entire situation. Where are these mail-in ballots? How could this potentially happen, especially with the election now just days away? These folks want answers, and we know that Butler County officials right here behind us are asking the United States Postal Service to get involved and figure out what went wrong in the first place. I want to walk you through the information we have so far this morning. Butler County officials confirmed the issues with mail-in ballot delays to our partners over at Butler Radio. The Butler County Commissioner told them there were problems with two Two particular dates. She says the post office confirmed the mail came to the Butler post office and went to a Pittsburgh post office. The director of elections told Butler Radio at this point there's no concrete data to know exactly how many people were impacted. However, only 24% of the ballots have been returned to the county so far. A USPS spokesperson just confirmed to me within the last hour, quote, Regarding mail sorting and delivery in Butler County, the Postal Service is unaware of any significant delays or issues and is in regular contact with the Board of Elections as we work to locate and deliver ballots as they are presented to us. Now, if you have not received your ballot, there are a lot of questions over what you're supposed to do. So here's what you can do. You can contact the Butler County Elections Office. You can also send them an email. Butler Radio reports you can get a new ballot and pick it up in the lobby. In addition, you can go directly to your polling location on Tuesday. Now, out here live this morning, I'm working to get additional updates from Butler County officials to ask them specifically how many folks have been impacted, what they're going to do next. As soon as I find out any new details, I'll break back in. Reporting live this morning in Butler, Mike Holden, Channel 11 News.